most of my patients are in their senior years, so they usually have a fair bit of gray, gray hair. Um, also, I, I guess I like puppies, but my gray face dogs have a little bit more, uh, I don't know, personality, history, life, life stories. So for me, it's more of the, I like to meet them towards, uh, not necessarily towards the end, but I like to meet them when maybe not everybody is out there to help them. You know, I'm, I'm there to help them. When I did my internship, I initially wanted to do surgery, but I felt that surgeons only saw their patients for a very short period of time, you know, while they were having surgery and then they were gone. Whereas our oncology patients would come in frequently and you'd get to know them, get to know their owners. And then the other aspect of oncology is that they're an area of medicine where people don't necessarily think about, you know, your dog has cancer and you, then they're going to die. And that's not necessarily true. So I saw it as an area where I could help more, you know, help people see that there are things that we could do. And I just fell in love with the people that have pets that they'd want to treat. They usually have a story, they usually have a background, and there's a reason why they want to fight for them, and there's no reason not to. You know, we treat other diseases, why not treat cancer? You know, most of what we do in oncology is to preserve quality of life and to maintain it. And if we treat the disease, it's making them sick, and just because it has a name of chemotherapy doesn't mean that they're not going to feel good. And so I think it comes down to fear and hopefully awareness, and if we can get through those two factors, I think we could help more animals.